Hey there, so you've heard the news. I mean, you must have heard the news. That's right, here at Pixie Chat we've introduced social media formats. Now I'm not going to bore you with the specifics of this global sensation, but what I will do in this video is show you how to easily create your Instagram posts using PixieChart. And not just that, even though Instagram stories are not yet supported in this initial launch, I'm going to show you a nifty little hack to quickly convert your standard Instagram posts into beautiful Instagram stories. I'm excited, I hope you are, let's jump right in. Okay, so first things first, before we jump into the actual design, here we are on the picture chart dashboard. And if we look to the left, there it is, in that shiny new tab called social media. Once we click it, we're presented with more than 200 professionally designed templates for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And since you're watching a video about how to design visuals for Instagram, now would be a good time to click on Instagram. Doing so gives us a wide variety of templates to choose from for Instagram's standard square format. You can of course choose to start from scratch should you so want to, but for now, let's make our lives a little easier and select one of the templates. So to turn this discount promo into our own creation, let's start by changing the colors. If you're a pro user, the fastest way by far to do this is through the built-in color schemes feature over here on the left. Most templates come equipped with a number of different color schemes and you can see how we can flip the entire look on the fly simply by clicking one of these neat looking pre-designed palettes. We can of course create our own color scheme as well. Select the colors we want to use, hit save and apply and voila, everything from backgrounds to shapes to fonts and buttons have magically been updated. Now, if you're not a pro user, you can of course go in and manually adjust the color of the various elements as you see fit. Adding your own image or images to any of the pre-designed templates is literally a matter of drag and drop. We can add an image either by scooting up here to the graphics panel, pop open photos, and in here we can select from a huge range of beautiful royalty-free photos by Unsplash. Or we can add our own images here from the uploads panel and once we drag it over the photo frame and release our mouse, ta-da, job done. Now, if at this point we want further control of the appearance of our image inside of this frame, we can simply double click it, scale it up and reposition it to our heart's content. Finally, before downloading our visual and converting this into an Instagram story, we'll of course want to add our own content. So let's just type in whatever we want and then let's hop up here and change the font, set it in bold, remove the underline as well as reduce the line height to one and increase the text size by dragging the handle while holding down shift. And with that done, let me just speed this up while I fine tune the rest of the text. So now that we have the visual look in the way we want, let's hop up here to download set the file format to PNG, and in case we're downloading multiple visuals at once, we need to make sure that we have downloads as blocks checked. But since in this case, we're only working with a single visual, we can leave it unchecked, it doesn't really matter. So now let's just hit download and let's call it a wrap. In the next section, I'm gonna show you how to easily convert this Instagram post into an Instagram story, so stay tuned. So to convert this Instagram post into an Instagram story, first let's head up here to the file drop down on the top left, click duplicate and give it a new name, Insta Story, for example. Now, how do we turn this square format into the vertical nine by 16 format used for Instagram stories? Well, to do so, we're simply gonna locate this little cog icon right here to the left of the canvas and adjust its height to 1920 pixels. And yeah, just like that, we're now working with the right dimensions for Instagram stories. Now let's be honest here guys, what looked pretty sweet before now looks positively bad. We now have a huge gap underneath and the overall composition is just off. An easy fix would be to simply reposition the text, placing it below the image instead of overlaying it. And this already I think looks a whole lot better. We could also take our image and change its square dimensions to something that better fits this vertical layout, except we can't. The dimensions of photo frames are fixed, which is to say we can scale this guy up or we can scale him down, but whatever we do, this image will remain a perfect square. So what we could do instead is 
Delete this image, head up to the graphics panel, select photo frames, and find a photo frame with more or less the same dimensions as our current canvas. This one right here looks about right, so let's add it to the canvas. Then let's scale it up, align it to the center, then let's drag in the same image from before, crop it to our liking, and send it to the back. And finally, let's just fine tune the text positioning, and voila, we now have something that's a lot closer to our initial design. Like they say, there's more than one way to skin a cat, so play around with it, and I'm sure you're going to come up with some interesting compositions of your own in no time. Now finally, say we wanted to add multiple slides to this podcast promo, we would simply hit the little plus icon here to add a new block. We could, for example, drop in a simple quote from the podcast episode. And now, if we wanted to add a final slide with the CTA, we can simply duplicate this slide by clicking this icon that says Clone Block. And then we could go ahead and change the background color as well as the font color, and then we could add in the CTA. And now that we've finalized our Instagram story, let's hop back up to the Downloads panel, make sure PNG is selected and that Downloads as Blocks is checked, hit Download, and we're done. And that, guys, is how you can easily create great looking visuals in PixelChart for Instagram's feed, as well as the cool new kit on the blog, Instagram Stories. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have, it would make a day if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more nifty design tips. As always, thank you so much for watching and happy picture charting.